Well, good morning. It's, uh, I guess, day two on the Appalachian Trail. It was a interesting night. A uh, little worried about the tent. Uh, kept thinking it was going to blow away or to pull, this, pull the stakes out and I'll be sleeping under a collapsed tent. Um, we had some heavy rains and just massive wind last night. Kind of died down mostly about 1 to 2, 2 a.m. I slept on and off. Uh, it was cold. Um, I kind of wish I had had more warm weather stuff. Uh, my feet were freezing and uh, I kind of remember early thinking, I don't need those, any kind of booties or anything. I don't know why people wear those. I just have bare feet going to bed. Well, I pulled on socks not too long after getting inside the bed and then I ended up grabbing everything I could just to kind of keep warmer. So I don't think the wind helped. Uh, I think, um, I don't know what temperature it was, it's in the 40s I think, but uh, yeah, uh, it was definitely cold. I ended up putting my puffy on, uh, which definitely helped a lot. That that made all the difference. So I was fine, uh, but it's kind of on the edge of being really uncomfortable. Um, so yeah, I, I didn't pack my hand warmers. I have them in the van, but uh, I really wish I would have had them. That would have been helpful too. Um, yeah, so anyways, day two. Weather's finally nice again. Uh, sun's out, just coming up right now over the mountains. And uh, got myself a, just made myself a cup of coffee. Took my first trip to the privy, which was uh, glorious. So, uh, yeah, we'll get the day going. It's Eric's tent. It's a two-person tent. And my tent, a one-person tent. So more lessons were learned. I um, one thing I did yesterday, which was kind of a dumb, really dumb thing, was uh, I kept I keep all my uh, warm weather stuff in my uh, mesh pocket on the outside of my pack. That way I can quickly get go back there and grab my crispy hat or my gloves or anything else I have and then it started when we started hiking in the rain I just didn't think about it so basically everything I had that, that would keep warm is was sopping wet when we finally got to tent to camp so that was that was a fail um, I couldn't use any of those things this is like a shakedown on the trail so we're figuring crap out as we go and uh, yeah so Unfortunately, you know, we're, we don't see the van again for three days, so, yep, it's, uh, it's all got to work out, and uh, tent looks like it survived the night, I survived the night, and I'm ready to hike. All right, you can probably tell by the way I'm dressed that it's, uh, it's cold. Um, it's around 40-something at this point, maybe 42, so it's better than it was, but, uh, yeah, we've left the tent site on day two and now we're actually hiking south backwards to go to the terminus which we blazed past because of the storm so kind of unfortunate we have to walk back so adding to our miles but it's all right the only struggle right now is uh my feet are still feeling frozen and I, I almost can't feel anything which is okay until you have to hike and you don't realize how much you probably rely on things under your foot to how it feels. Anyways, we'll manage and hopefully my feet warm up. Uh, trail is pretty wet, but it's wet, but not too bad. It's just a little stream running through the trail. Yeah. All right, 
We're here back at the southern terminus without a storm and uh, this is the ceremony of touching the first blaze on the Appalachian Trail. This is where the logbook is and you can see inside of there there's actually a logbook that you put your trail names or names so they know that you are here in case they have to know where you are. I'm vlogging. So, what's your trail name? Frosty the Slowman. <laughs> All right. From where? Gorham, New Hampshire. Awesome. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Benton McKay Trail, the southern terminus. Cool. That changes. All right, so what's your trail name? Strawberry Shortcake. And where are you from? Florida, Clearwater. Clearwater, all right. And how'd you get your name? Uh, a girl from the UK on the trail last year said I looked like a doll that she had when <laughs> oh, she was young. <laughs> and you're through hiking? Um, I'm gonna finish the 1,200 miles I didn't do last year. Awesome. So an example of a, we just crossed a stream, not too, not too big. And uh, this is a water source, so I'm going to stop and fill the bottle with water. And this is my water filter, so we'll have more water. All right, we've done some adjusting, uh, taking off the warm weather gear. I still have my mid layer on. I might take that off in a bit. We're gonna head to Hawk Mountain Shelter, uh, tent sites there. In the meantime, there's a uh, three something, three fork falls, and uh, it's slight. It's a blue blaze, slightly off trail, and uh, hope to have lunch there. Getting a little hungry. It's been crossing little rivers and little uh, little rivulets and little streams and creeks, little waterfalls. Seems like. Every few hundred yards, it's uh, almost like you don't have to carry water or any extra water. Uh, and maybe it's early to make a kind of a judgment, but I was worried about hiking in even what is called the back end of the bubble, which is still... The, the, I, we were told at the visitor center that at the time that we registered, there was 40 other people that already registered, which is a lot. So... Uh, the ATC says that their max they think it can handle is 50 hikers a day. And so we're already up to 40. And what happens is you run out of tent space and you run out of other things. But so far we haven't really seemed to have a problem. I counted 10 or 12 tents where we were at our first place at Springer. And there are some other tent sites scattered around there that I didn't even see. But it looks like there are still empty spots. Um, the next shelter tent site we go to is Hawk Mountain and I was they, they told us at our introductory briefing that that shelter and its tent sites get much more crowded because there are three separate shelters along the AT that all feed into it so we'll see how that goes for those who not uh, follow all things Appalachian Trail a lot of the Appalachian Trail is called the Green Tunnel and they actually tell people who are thinking about bringing solar collectors for their phones to recharge not to because you're mostly out of the sun. The good news is you don't need as much sunscreen. But you're in, often in these forests of rhododendrons. And they just branch out over the trail and provide a, like a tunnel you go through. It's kind of cool.
What are we got? Oh. <laughs> Slip. Uh, we crossed the log? Or the rocks? Yeah. The log, the end of the log looks very difficult to get up from, so yeah. Must be the rocks. This hair is annoying. I might have to get an AT mullet cut. So I follow a couple of, more maybe more than a couple of YouTubers who add a lot of interesting facts to their videos. And I really appreciate it. One's a geologist. He tells you all about the rock and the mountain formations and all that. There's another uh, one named Sunny from Alaska. I believe she's a scientist, but she also researches all the history and tells you all the facts about why something's named it is and what happened back in the 1800s, etc. It's great stuff. And also people who are like expert in the types of trees and plants and animals, snakes, whatever. Um, yeah, I am none of those. So my background is product development and that doesn't really apply much on the trail. I do a lot of engineering stuff. Um, Buzz's background is uh, aerospace and rocket science. That probably won't help us in videos. You won't hear anything from him. And Vanish is, uh, does all, I think she's mainly, I'd say, software and coding. Uh, so, yeah, that's what we do. Okay, I'm all right. All right, this is the recap of day two. Uh, so the night of day one was pretty pretty hard. Hopefully, maybe one of the most difficult, and we don't have a lot of nights like that, but uh, we had super high winds, and I was really worried and getting anxious about my tent not withstanding it, but it did. But it kept me up, and the tent was shaking all the time, and we had a lot of rain, everything inside was wet, and then it dropped into almost freezing. It was down in the 30s, and um, yeah, I don't have the right gear for that. I, I was very cold. I kept putting more and more gear on in my sleeping bag or quilt. And I, I put on everything I had, uh, everything that wasn't wet. So um, yeah, that was a, a long night, but we made it to the morning and uh, and we got off. I had my first privy experience. That was glorious. Um, and then we, uh, we started our next hike. I expected that this hike to Black Mountain uh, Shelter Tent Sites was going to be real easy and 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 not a not a big deal i was wrong it was uh the climbing really is hard at least for me it was very difficult uh luckily buzz kept uh stopping and slowing down for me um matching my pace so i could catch my breath and uh yeah we finally made it uh to the tent site we had really good weather though a little bit of a gusty winds but mostly blue skies Temps kept going up and down. It was kind of weird, so you're either too hot or too cool. But it was still nice. It was very much different from the day before.